Good morning, this is Tom with the Tractor Rescue Ranch. I am out here at one of the ranches that I do some mechanicing for. And what I've got to do today with this 310G backhoe is I'm thinking that the thermostat is stuck closed because this tractor doesn't seem to be circulating the fluid. There's no circulation going into the heater and there's, after he runs it a while, it'll heat up. And so this thermostat I'm gonna replace today, got a new gasket, a thermostat. And then this is just a special O-ring type thing that seals the bypass tube. So anyway, I've got the bucket up in the air, out of the way, and this safety deal I got put in place so it won't fall down on me. And this would be a straightforward job if it weren't for that air conditioner. So my first project will be to get that air conditioner out of the way. And then the thermostat housing is right down in there. So that's what I'm after today. The hope here is, which I think it'll be pretty easy to do, is to just to pull this air conditioner pump out of the way and leave everything hooked up because I sure don't want to lose the Freon or I guess they don't call it Freon these days, but the coolant that's in it. That came out of the way real nice. Now I've got this big cast iron mount for that air conditioner. To get out of the way. Gonna have to get a bigger wrench. It's too tight. That's all it took. A little bit more leverage. that electric sensor to unplug. Looks like this is going to stay in my way here until it won't fit past that until I get the housing off up here. the washer and I dropped the, one of the bolts I think I can see it sitting on the inside of the frame there here we go Okay, the research that I did tells me that this is the bypass and it's just pressed into that rubber o-ring there. There's a up here on top, it was held into place with that last bolt I took off of the top. And so according to the research, you just the 
just kind of work that. And it's supposed to come off that. got a bucket under me here to catch as much of that as I can so that just twists out of the way and gives me space to get this lower bolt broke loose catching most of that antifreeze there. I don't see anything visually wrong with that except I really warmed up that motor. I started it up and warmed everything up, got it good and warm so that I could raise that bucket and looks like it's still closed completely so I'm hoping that that's what the deal is. So you can see this this seal right in here that new rubber o-ring will go right in there and then clean up these gasket surfaces put this thing back together <laughs> Side's looking pretty good. My wire brush is shot. Been doing too much sawmill parts with it. I'm going to grab a rag and stuff in that hole so I don't get junk down in the block. Yeah, it's going to take some work on that gasket. It's not coming off. It's going to have to do a bunch of scraping. I've got a putty knife here that I've got a really sharp point that I've sharpened onto it.
Well, I've got all the old gasket off. Now there's still just a little bit of glue there. Hopefully this will take it off. Okay, that looks real good. Trick here is to remember to pull the rag out of there. Okay, on the way going back together, I got a real thin coat of gasket maker on there just to make sure we don't end up with some leaks. Got to be real careful tightening things down with a big old wrench like that. It could be real easy to overdo it. About as tight as I dare get it. All I got is my air conditioner pump. I'm going to have to see if I can figure out how to loosen that idler so that I got room on that belt. Well, I can't be in two places at once. I got to be on the other side on that idler. So I'll just pull that belt off and get this mounted. And then I'll have to go over there and get the belt back on. Alrighty, got no parts left over, that's always a good thing when you don't have any parts left over. So I just got to put the antifreeze in it and get this fan belt back on it. I have to do that from the other side over there and then she's ready to fire up and make sure it's not leaking anywhere.
can't see any leaks in it. There's a little bit of antifreeze down low that spills when I open things up. But I can't see any leak. I'm going to run this around a little bit and get it warmed up good and warm. And then after that antifreeze gets to circulate and I'll recheck and make sure that the antifreeze is up to where it's supposed to be and then this job will be done. Thanks for watching.